Hi guys, it's Alex from Bike Mats here. Came down to Tinker's Yamaha in Norwich just to have a little look around. So they gave me the opportunity to ride the YS125 about as well. So I thought it's a good seller for Yamaha. Why not find out all about it and give it a quick ride? Right, off we go. So this is the Yamaha YS125. It's the updated YBR125 from Yamaha. Of course, they're commuter and learner-friendly bike, really. This is what they're aiming the bike at. So that you learn and market. And people who are getting on the bike for the first time and not really knowing too much about their... Oh, that's a nice little grom going by there. Um, not knowing too much about their intentions for motorcycling, maybe. Or maybe they just want to get to work or to school, commute, just to and from. And do it with a bit of a, a reliable bike. Of course, instantly getting on this bike, I've noticed how light and flickable and just how easy it is to ride. And that's exactly what you want on a 125 that's aimed at that market for commuters and you know people just want to have a bit of a laugh. Oh, I've been starting so many red lights as well. I've ridden this for a little bit now, maybe about 20 miles maybe. I've only got it for the day, so just a little quick 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 go on it just to see what it's like and so far so good i mean it's really impressed me it's really nice and light and easy to use clutch is nice and light the brakes are good you know the front lever activates the back as well because it's a unified braking system ubs and the back activates the front one thing i noticed is if you put the front uh brake on when the rear is pressed as well you can feel a little bit of the the rear go down so i don't know whether it's like manually linked but you can feel the rear come in into play when you pull the front lever, which is nice. I mean, it's the alternative to like combined braking system or ABS as a Euro 4 minimum bike needs to have. So, of course, as I say, this bike is a commuter friendly option. Now, part of a, being a commuter bike is it's going to be, have to be comfortable, reliable, economic, and you're going to have to depend on it. And that ticks all of these boxes. You've got a little eco light there that says, yep, thumbs up, you're doing well. You're driving economically and you're getting that 140 miles per gallon that the bike says that it can do. Of course, it's a 14 litre tank. So when you have that much miles per gallon on a 14 litre tank, you're looking at over 300 miles per tank. And again, as a commuter bike, that's exactly what you want. It's comfortable, it's flickable, it's light. It's only 129 kilograms, and with me on it, I'm six foot four, 15 ish stone. And you know, it, it does really well to have me on it. The suspension's telescopic forks at the front and uh, the swing arm at the rear. And um, I've got no complaints about the suspension at all. It absorbs everything you'd want it to. And yeah, that's, that's fine. It keeps quite nice and comfortable. As I say, the seat's nice. 795 mil seat height again really accessible it's really really good if you've got a you know a fair commute into work maybe 20 miles or so if not more i would have no concerns about you know having this as your commuter bike quick word really on sort of the reliability of the bike of course this is only a day test now this is a cbt bike from tinkler's yamaha and this obviously will be abused used and abused and so far, got no complaints about it at all. Of course, they use these sort of bikes for CBT and learner bikes for a reason, and that's because they're reliable. Maintenance is easy on them. And they're easy to ride. Like, you can pick up this bike and just literally get, get to grips with it within a minute. It's, clutch is nice and light. Gears really solid. I've had no false neutrals or anything like that at all, which isn't isn't a surprise on a Yamaha. Of course, when anyone asks me or you see online people asking, would you recommend as a first-time bike? Always, people are going to be leaning towards the Japanese manufacturers and say, "Oh yeah, well, 
How about the Yamaha YBR or Yamaha YS? Because this is a reliable bike and you know what you're getting. And it does everything you want. Of course, it has got a centre stand, which is a nice little point because you can then get the rear wheel off the ground and do some maintenance on the chain and the wheel, you know, tension in the chain and stuff like that. But if you buy it from brand new, you do get a two year parts and labour warranty with it. So uh, no problems there in terms of reliability because you know it's going to be covered if anything does go wrong. But you know, the small parts that you can do yourself really, you know you're all covered for. That's a good point, why am I filtering? He can just let everyone know behind that I'm filtering. So, as you've just seen there, I've filtered a little bit on this bike just now and before, and it's perfect for filtering because it's so light and it's so flickable and it's so nice and slim and a good size that filtering is a breeze. You don't have to worry about it whatsoever. Center of Norwich, Norwich Market on the right. Of course, a massive thank you goes to Lexum who power Bike Matters. So if you are looking to get a quote for a 125, they are the 125cc specialists, so insurance specialists for this bike even. If you're looking to get in one, get it insured with Lexum and you'll be doing us an absolute solid and let them know that Bike Matters sent you. other bits on this bike in terms of the braking and the brakes now of course it's got a disc at the front 240 mil it's got a drum brake at the rear um, that's one thing I'm not too keen on because a lot of bikes nowadays have front and rear disc brakes and I don't think it would be too much for Yamaha to put a disc brake on the rear as well of course a drum is a little bit gentler so you could you know apply that when you're doing slow speed maneuvers and stuff like that but there's no reason not to have a a disc on the rear as well, it'd be a nice little touch. A little secret lane, I've never been down here in Norwich before. This is the perfect suspension test. Now, telescopic up the front does quite well to absorb the bumps. A swing arm at the rear, and considering I'm 15 stone and this bike weighs 120 kilograms, it's doing pretty well to absorb all of these little bumps. Maybe this should become a regular feature cobbled lane test right so in terms of the engine power I can't imagine many people are going to be buying this bike because they like the power but it's really nippy it's got a lot of poke and a surprising amount of poke at that so it's got 10.8 ish brake horsepower and that's at 7500 rpm red lines at 9 so you've got a good bit of power behind you And the peak torque is 10.4, so around 10 for both. And torque is a bit lower, of course, because that's where the engine's sort of picking up the speed. And that's, I think it's 6,000 RPM. And overall, I, I can't complain about the power behind this bike at all. It's really surprising how, how much poke it's got for a little, a little 125 with me on. <laughs> In terms of styling of this bike, of course, the YBR 125 was the original, the OG. And that looks near enough the same as this bad boy. But the YS made it a little bit sleeker. They, they added in that gear indicator and the eco indicator, as well as making it look a little bit more sporty. And they've done a good job, to be fair. I can't really complain about the looks. Comes in this white and black, sort of a red and black, and a black and black. So it's just double blacked up. And it looks really good any cutlass to be fair i think i like the red the most personally but the white is surprisingly nice i say surprisingly because i don't typically like white bikes or cars it's just something about it but it looks really good really really nice now you're looking at spending about 2899 pounds for the bike itself if you're buying it brand new there's the on the road cost as well on top of that 
So you're looking at 2,900 and something. And to get yourself a Yamaha, which is a reliable bike and pretty fun bike at that, I think that's pretty good. You can find cheaper bikes out there, but you're then sort of veering into territory where you might question reliability and the ongoing sort of performance of the bike. And I'd have no problems with saying that this is going to be pretty reliable because it's tried and tested and it's something Yamaha really do put a lot of time in making their 125 bikes the best of the best. One thing I haven't covered is ye old top speed. Top speed wise, I don't expect much more than 70. If you can get it 70, of course me riding around Norwich, I'm not gonna be able to get it anywhere close to 70. But I've been told it is possible to get to 70 on this. 60 is a definite. I mean, I can't imagine you struggle getting to 60 at all. I got it to 40 in Norwich, and that was on a 40 road, I'll have you know. As I've said, there's an eco indicator and a gear indicator, which I really like. I really find quite important on a 125 to have that sort of stuff just to, you know, tell you what's going on. The fuel indicator is there. I've seen it going up and down quite a bit, so, you know, it, it does tell you roughly what fuel you've got, and I'm sure it will help if you get to empty, you know it's going to be empty, but... You know, at least it's there, better than not being there at all. There's an odometer, so it tells you what sort of miles you've done on the bike and keeping the track of that. It's done 1,377, so this one's been ridden a fair bit. You see that in eco indicator come on as well, just to say, yeah, nice one. Keep up the good work. Rev's nice and clear, and the speed's nice and clear as well. So, you know, can't complain with the dash whatsoever. I don't know. I think this bike really speaks for itself. I mean... Again, I've said before, if you get one of these, it's because you're wanting to get from A to B and get a reliable bike. It ticks all of those boxes, no problem whatsoever. Niggles, maybe you should have ABS, disc brake on the back. The wheels are absolutely fine in terms of the tyre width and diameter. 18 inch wheels give it a lot of stability. I mean, for everything this bike does, it does it really well. And as a learner, as a commuter, you know, for that sort of market of bikes where you're looking at the utility of a bike as opposed to the sort of, I don't know, I don't want to say the enjoyment because I'm really enjoying it, but the sort of you're riding for pleasure, this one does all of it. I mean, it's a nice cheap Yamaha, reliable. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I really do like it. So this has been the Yamaha YS, a quick little first impressions ride review, what I think about this brilliant little commuter from Yamaha. Of course, leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you're thinking about getting one of these bikes, what you think about it and what you think about it as a commuter. Watch down there, like, leave a subscription as well and click that notification bell so you can get notified of all of our latest videos. Really appreciate watching. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.